like to play the victim I'll drink alcohol Till my friends come home for Christmas And I'll dream each night Of some version of you That I might not have But I did not lose Now your tire tracks And one pair of shoes And I'll be splitting out Now have to do Welcome back to Pete LaVaster Music, and in today's video I want to do a quick and easy beginner tutorial on the song Stick Season by Noah Kahn. Uh, he is a pretty new artist. As far as I know, I recently learned about him, but this song is absolutely everywhere. It's super popular and it's actually surprisingly easy, particularly depending how accurate to the track you want to get. So the song actually only uses four chords, which if you had no capo, you can still play. The chords are A, E, D, and F sharp minor. But what I think is really easy is capoing the second fret because then your A becomes the shape of a G, your E becomes the shape of a D, your F sharp minor just goes to E minor, and then your D actually becomes the C shape. So by capoing the second fret, you can play this whole song with just open chords. Now probably the trickiest thing about the song is that it actually has a very high beats per minute. So it's like 205 beats per minute, which means that if you want to keep up with the track as you play, you need to be pretty much at this speed, like. which is very doable if you're not singing, but if you're trying to sing along with the track, um, which is a ton of fun, it gets very hard to keep that pace. So particularly if you're with a band or you have anyone on like banjo or playing a, a, a percussion box or anything like that, um, the speed can be a little bit of a challenge, but the strum pattern is not that hard. It's basically down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down down, up, down, up. And so you can say it to yourself while you play that and just slowly and progressively build speed. Down, 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 down. And you can say it to yourself while you play it and practice making these very fast chord transitions while you do it. Okay, and so let's talk about the actual format of the song because the first verse, strictly speaking, if you're a little bit more advanced, is not these full-on strumming chords. It's that same kind of cadence like da 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 da, but he's doing something called Travis picking. And I'm not gonna dive too much into Travis picking here because this is more of a beginner tutorial, but if you're a little bit more advanced, a little bit more intermediate, you can do with the capo at the second, so really the A chord, you can Travis pick. couple times through and then you switch to the D shape. Okay, I'm kind of butchering it because I'm trying to teach it while I play it. And then the E minor shape. And then finally finish on the C shape. Okay, so that's how he intros. It's a nice, slow, soft intro, but if you are playing and strumming like a little bit more of a beginner, you can do that same chord sequence. Just don't hit the strums as hard because dynamically throughout the song, you want to build to something. So start with sort of softer strums in the beginning. Okay, and so that first verse is basically uh, you're on the G, which is the A chord, and uh, as you promised me that I was more than all the miles combined, you must have switched to the D. Had yourself a change of heart like halfway through the drive, and then switch to the E minor, cause your voice trailed off exactly as you passed my exit sign, and then switch to the C. Kept on driving straight and left our future to the right. All right, and so that four chord sequence repeats over and over throughout this whole song. It's this A, which we're playing with the G shape. So I will just say the chords as if you have that second capo, but one more time, it's 
if you don't have the capo, it's gonna be A, E, F sharp minor, D. Now with the capo, that sequence uh, moves to G, D, E minor, C, in terms of the shapes that you're making, okay? So if I say G, I'm talking about G shape. But basically over and over again, it's gonna be the, as you do the G, 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 switch to D, 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 switch D minor, da, 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 switch to C, and that's how the first verse goes, that's how the second verse goes, and then we're gonna get to the chorus, which is the same chord sequence, but what he does different at this point is he just strums each of those once. So it's like, G, Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks, and I, and then the, uh, the D, shape, saw your mom, but she forgot that I exist, and then E minor shape, my fault, but I'd like to play the victim, and then C, Till my friends come, and then at the second half when he's doing the till my friends come home for Christmas, it's sort of building. So you strum it once. Till my friends come home for Christmas, and I, and then it's back to the full strumming for the second half of the verse. So if you listen to this, you can really hear it. Like the first half of the verse is this strip back, like love her mom, but it's the season of the sticks, and I. Okay, and then when it gets to the alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas and I Okay, and so then it's back into the uh, full strumming for the second half of the chorus which is dream each night of some version of you uh, He does that like g gets higher at the end of the line thing and then back to the D shape Might not have but I did not lose now you're and then the E minor and then the only thing different here is the last line is not just holding the C shape. You start on the C shape, split in half, but that'll, and then quickly it's half to the D shape, half to do, and then it goes to G. Okay, so split in half is still on the C, like the sequence has been the whole time, but then it circles back to the D shape and then the G shape. And that really nicely puts you back on the G shape, the A chord, to go into the third verse, which is exactly the same. It's, it's this uh, A, E, F sharp minor, uh, D, which with the capo on the second is G shape, D shape, E minor shape, C shape. That's the third verse. And then we do the chorus again the second chorus, he does not do the single strum thing. So he kind of strums aggressively through the whole second chorus. Um, so rather than the love Vermont, it's love Vermont, but it's the season that sticks and I saw your mom, she forgot that I existed and it's half my fault, but I'd like to play the victim, I'll drink alcohol. See, I messed it up there. But so the whole second chorus playing the chords aggressively, not just the one strum. And then after that second verse, when it's I'm split in half, or chorus, when I'm split in half, but that'll have to do, um, there's a brief bridge that's not too hard and it's no new chords or anything, but it's just this, you stay on that G shape, the A chord, and you do this, oh, that'll have to do. And then you go to the D shape, the E chord. My other half was you and then the E minor shape F sharp minor I hope this pains just and then the C passing through but I doubt it back to the D okay so that's still that really familiar chord progression it's just technically a bridge it sounds a little different than the rest of the song so we finish the second chorus and it's one more time through G D E minor and then to C back to D. Okay, and the reason we have that little bridge in there is he doesn't do a fourth verse, but he wants to go to a third chorus. So then the third chorus is exactly like the first chorus. Single strums for each line. And then build once you get to that C shape, that D chord, and then the second half of it is strumming again. So it's but it's the da 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 da
Okay, so um, that might be uh, hopefully not confusing you guys. One strum, and then once you get to the last shape of that four chord sequence, you kind of build on the back half of it, and then dive into the second half of it. And then you finish that, uh, that split in half, but that'll have to do, and you're on the C at the end of the third chorus. And he says, have to do again, and just finishes with one strum of the G shape, the A chord. So this is my first attempt at covering an entire guitar song on the YouTube channel, so I'm open to feedback on how this could have been clearer, if you found it useful, as well as what songs you'd like to see in the future, what you think would be best for the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, any feedback widely appreciated. Thank you for watching. Until next time.